Welcome back to the shooting channel. And a few weeks ago, we did a review on the F16 limited edition Blazer Heritage. And I've now got one because of all the comments that people had on that. I've now got one and we're gonna do a little round of clays between Alex and I, and we're gonna see what we think of it. Because I felt that this is one of the nicest guns on the market that has come on the market. Value for money. And we just thought we'd have a round of clays and see how it shoots. But woodwork, absolutely stunning woodwork, nice recoil pad, lovely engraving. And it just is one of those guns that really turned my eyes. And I'm going to ask Alex, and we're both going to shoot a few, what he thinks of it. And we can both shoot and give you a, an up-to-date view over a couple of three stands and see what you think. So Alex, what do you think of it? First impressions, it definitely looks the part. Very, very nice engraving. As long as well as the wood, the wood's very, very pretty. I know some people think it's been ruined with an adjustable comb. Personally, I don't agree. I think the wood's gorgeous as it is with an adjustable comb or not. So interested to see what it shoots like. Comment below on a wood on a gun like this. Would you rather have an adjustable comb or would you rather have it as a fixed stock just to have the nice wood? Comment below. Comment what you think you would prefer. Right, it's going to have a shoot. So I've just come to a looper and an incomer with the Blazer F16 Heritage, just to see what it's like on the first stand. Paul? 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 Absolutely handles like a dream. The only thing I would say, compared to what I'm used to, it's a little bit lighter. So you have to respect it. When you, when you close it up, you just have to respect, you can't throw the gun around. You just have to respect it and go, but something this nice, you have to respect anyway. So again, but when you put it in, when you close it up, it just, it sounds like an Aston Martin door. It just sounds really nice. See what Alex thinks of it. Well. Oh. Oh. Oh, win. Last pair. Draw. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Loser's a loser. <laughs> so I dropped one. You can definitely feel that it feels expensive. Feels very, very nice. The way it balances, the way it handles, and just feels in your hand, it feels gorgeous. So, next stand. So we've got a driven, followed by a left to right crosser. We've got David on the camera and the buttons, so we're gonna see how his multitasking is. Oh. Oh, you hit it. Why are you so surprised? Because I could see it there. Yeah. Oh.
That's two out of four. Oh! Two out of six. Oh! Two out of eight. Right, last pair. I've got a feeling I've lost this stand. Whoa! Two out of ten. Not great. Time for David to shoot. Ball. Press it. Ball. One away. Ball. Paul? Still one away. Paul? Oof. Another one sipped away. Paul? Ball. Nice. So, dropped a couple, but I'm going to be completely honest, the gun just feels something special. It just, unless you go for something like, and I'm going to bring, bring the brand into it, it's some, something like a B25 or B15. This feels like that, it just feels that little bit special. And I'm gonna be honest, I think this is a ticking blazer's box. It's still an F16 underneath, but okay, it retails at about eight and a half grand. But if you want something special, it's just a nice handling special gun. You can use it for game shooting or clay shooting, or just a bit of fun and enjoy it. What do you think about it? I'm pretty much the same as you. Um, the problem I had with my F16 before was the adjustable comb. Uh, was the fact the lack of the adjustable comb. Um, this having an adjustable comb is perfect for me. I'm quite tall, so I need something either with a high comb or an adjustable comb. Um, but as far as the gun itself goes, I've always loved the F16. Um, and for it to come out with this engraving, this wood, um, it's just got everything that you'd expect from a gun at this price range and more. Um, so yeah, I agree. Very good from Blaza. And would you buy one? Definitely. If I had the money, definitely. So, that's both of us would buy one. Comment below what you think of it. Or, go and find your local Blagas shooting school and go and have a look. Most decent shooting schools will have Blaza demo range. Or, comment below or email the channel and we will find your local Blaza shooting school for you. Hope you've enjoyed this programme. Please like us on Facebook, follow us through Instagram. Don't forget the Browning Challenge is in July and August. Nice competition and Austin Masters is in August as well. So two great competitions from two fab shooting grounds. Go and give them a go.